Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary family, Jared here with your next word for the day. So if you have your Bible or your Bible apps, you can go ahead and pull those out and you can follow along with me in Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. And I was only given one verse to read, so this is going to be short, but hopefully sweet. So let's begin in verse 11. It says, Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. So what's Paul talking about here? He mentions these people groups, uh, whether it's by race, religious, or social status. And if we're simply just reading verse 11 to find its meaning, I think we could, we could say that Paul's implying here that now that we're in Christ, all these barriers that divided people in the ancient Roman world no longer need to exist uh, because we're in Christ now and we make up the body. Christ is the head and we are the body and there needs to be unity within the body. So if we look back a couple verses, uh, back to verse 7 actually, he says, you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. He says, we've taken off the old self and its practices and put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge in the image of its creator. And it's here, there is no longer any barriers that divide or separate us. We aren't looking at life through an earthly perspective anymore because we have a new heavenly lens. We belong to a new family in Christ because Christ is all and is in all. I hope you guys were blessed with this message this morning. Have a great rest of your day.